In this video, we're going to talk about a very important concept and feature in Tableau, which is the level of detail expression. This is a relatively new feature of Tableau, but it's really, really powerful, and you have to understand what you can and can't do with it. All right. So remember when we looked at the order of operations? So Tableau has an order of operations. And it affects when filters happen, but it also affects when level of detail expressions are calculated. If you'll notice here on the right side, we see that we have extract filters, then data source filters, then context filters. And then we have some other things, but one of the things that hits is the fixed level of detail. And then further down, we see include and exclude. Now, what are these level of detail expressions? Now we generally set our level of detail in two places, by the fields, the dimensions, and the measures that we place into the columns and rows, and what we put into the detail shelf. Now sometimes though, we wanna express or visualize a different level of detail than we have, than, than, than we actually want to show. So we might wanna, um, instead of breaking something down by country, state, and city, we might wanna break it down by country and city or country and state and city and we can't do that um, with just by dragging and dropping uh, fields on onto the onto the uh, to the builder screen so the level of detail in the columns and rows defines how the visualization is going to be rendered but if we want to do a calculation that's independent from these dimensions that are being used to slice and dice and create the visualizations, we have to use a level of detail expression. Now, let's take a look at what that really means, all right? Level of detail expressions allow us to produce a graph like we see here on the right, where we have city sales and state sales and country sales all being calculated at the same time, right? If we put country, city, and state into a visualization and then we drop sales in, it will always by default be the lowest level of detail, which is the city sales, all right? And we'll build that so you see how that works in a later video. Now the syntax, you have to do this in a calculated field, and the syntax for all of the level of detail expressions is fundamentally the same. It's the level of detail type, which is one of three things, fixed, exclude, include, then there's these dimensions that you can or you may or may not use. You don't have to use them, but we'll talk about what it means. Then there's always a colon. And then on the right side of the colon, you have to say, what's the aggregate expression? And what fixed, and so here we have fixed colon sum of sales, which basically says for this row in the database, what is the sum of sales that's fixed? And we'll talk about what that means, right? And in this one, exclude, do the sum of sales for everything that's in this graph, but take away city and state and then calculate sum of sales. So it's kind of the same thing as take away city and state in this graph, which will give us the country sales. And then there's include, which is take everything that's in the graph and then add customer name and then calculate sum of sales. All right. So it's all pretty straightforward. Um, they have the same syntax and they all take these optional dimensions, but Exclude and include don't make sense without using at least one dimension, and fixed will often regularly be used without dimensions, all right? So these level of detail expressions are going to help us to make calculations that we can't do out of the box. So calculations that are either completely not dependent on the visualization or are dependent but modify what's in the visualization already. So fixed creates a um, calculation that's not dependent upon the visualization, almost like a global variable or a global constant, and exclude and include uh, are dependent upon the way you've created the visualization, but they modify it either by adding more levels of detail or removing some levels of detail. So every job, if you go into a data analyst job for Tableau, they will ask you about level of detail functions, okay? It's, it's one of the most powerful features in the recent versions of Tableau. 
And it's really what I call a force multiplier or a power multiplier as far as what you can do with your visualizations. So make sure you watch the videos for each one of these level of detail functions and understand them because they will be key to developing really good analytics uh, using Tableau.